Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is the third video in the series that I have started on social information networks. And in this video, we will be discussing about degree centrality. So what degree centrality is, how it is calculated and all these things we will be discussing. So let's get started. Firstly, why why do you want why do we want to calculate degree centrality and what it what is it so degree centrality of a node okay degree centrality is measured for a node in a graph is basically the measure of how popular a given node is so if you have a, a graph of like 10 nodes one of them will be the most popular and so on so basically each node will have its own popularity and the measure of that popularity is known as degree centrality okay so so that is basically how popular it is or how much influence it has. This measure is known as degree centrality. Okay. Now, let us take a sample graph and let us look at how we can calculate the degree centrality uh, for each node of the graph. Okay. So let us take this graph. we have one we are taking an undirected graph here in the previous video we've discussed what directed and undirected graphs are right so if you haven't yet watched that please do go ahead and watch that uh, the link to that to this entire playlist of sin or social information network videos is given in the description below okay so we have a small formula for calculating the degree centrality which basically is that um, sigma i is equal to 1 to n sorry j is equal to i j is equal to 1 to n a i j divided by n minus 1 so degree centrality of a given node is basically all the number of edges that are connected to that given node divided by the total number of nodes minus one so n is the total number of nodes that are there okay and i is basically the node whose degree centrality we want to calculate and j is all the other edges or all the other nodes that are connecting to the given node okay so now to find out the degree centrality this formula seems to be complicated or it seems to be uh, it seems to uh, be a little confusing but when we uh, actually solve a problem it it is it is very very simple okay so let's keep this aside now in the in the first video of the series we've discussed how we can draw the adjacency matrix for a given graph so if you haven't yet watched that go ahead and watch that we will be making the adjacency matrix now which will make it very easy to calculate the degree centrality okay so adjacency matrix how many nodes do we have? We have node 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? Okay. Now, so because this is an undirected graph, we do not...
okay so now wherever there is an edge that is we will be marking one and wherever there is no edge we will be marking zero so one to two no edge one to three no edge one to four yes there's an edge one to five no edge and similarly two to three no edge edge no edge right zero zero and because this is a uh, undirected graph this will become a symmetric matrix right and we just finish the matrix now let me just remove this part because we'll need the space okay so now what did we discuss we discussed that uh, we need to calculate the number of edges or the sum of the basically the total number of edges that a given node is connected to that is how we understand the popularity right how when does a node become popular when it is connected to more number of nodes in our graph where it is well connected right so for that what we are trying to do is we are trying to find out the number of nodes a given node is connected to so for that we've drawn the edges in c matrix and now we will be calculating the sum here so what is the sum of the first row 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 2 2 sorry 3 and then 1 right and what was the formula the formula basically essentially the formula of degree centrality is that degree centrality is equal to sum of the row in adjacency matrix divided by the uh, total number of nodes present minus one okay because we need to remove the node that whose uh, degree centrality we are calculating now let us make this column degree centrality and we have total of how many nodes 1 2 3 4 5 and total minus 1 is equal to 4 because 5 minus 1 is 4 and the degree centrality is what sum divided by the uh, sum divided by the total minus 1 so this will be 1 by 4 this will be 1 by 4 this will be 2 by 4 which is equal to 1 by 2 we have 3 by 4 and 1 by 4 now from this we understand that node number 4 has the highest degree centrality which implies that node number 4 is the most popular and the most well connected. So degree centrality is one of the measures of popularity of a given node and uh, one of the measures of popularity of a given node and this is how we calculate the degree centrality okay now that was all i had for this video in the next video we will be discussing the other measures like closeness centrality betweenness centrality and so on so i hope you got to learn something from this video and and i hope you enjoyed it so stay tuned for more information on social information networks and we will be learning a lot more. Thank you for watching and do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.